What is up guys? Welcome back to another daily build video. This time we're checking out an S7R saline build sent in by Meteor Sky. Let's go. All right, real quick before I get into the video, shout out to Meteor Sky for sending this in. If you want to send in a build or a pro settings that you really like that you want me to test out and maybe be featured in a video like this, you can go to militiagamingco.com like you see here. Click on builds right here in this first white box and then scroll down and enter your tune information. These are all of the options for a tune for Motorfest. Just go down here and submit. Please only submit it one time. You won't see any like real confirmations or anything like that. Just hit the submit button one time, let it go through and you're good to go. I know some people out there are submitting it multiple times. Also, there's no guarantee that you're going to be featured, but it is nice to send these in. It gives me a spreadsheet to go off of, and then I can start testing these tunes. So I'm going to do this, but it's not a super frequent thing. If I find one that I really like, I can feature it in a video. And that's exactly what this video is about. So let's get into the sailing. Before we get into the pro settings, let's talk about the car a little bit. It is fast. It does turn well. However, I don't know that it's in the top of the class. It is somewhere near the top, but not at the top. The Bolide runs a little bit faster time and has a better lateral G stat. The 458 Italia runs a slightly better time, has a better lateral G stat. The Expo GT2, same situation, has a better time, better lateral G stat. So that being said, this one is no slouch. I mean, this really is a very good car. A 1.54 lateral G is in the top of the class. It's somewhere, you know, around five or I don't know, like between five and 10 basically. And the time that it ran actually is sort of in that same range as well. It's not a top five time, but it's also somewhere in the five to 10 range. So this is a very, very viable car. It's one that I feel like I've missed for a long time. I do see it occasionally in the grand races and uh, I'm excited to kind of try this out in that scenario. I have not driven it in the grand races yet all. 154 miles of this car that I've driven has been on test courses, just going back and forth, making some changes here and there. Anyways, I ended up using the tune from Meteor Sky with one slight change, and it's totally because of the way I prefer a car to handle. Um, and I'll tell you what that is when we get to it. So here are the pro settings for you. All right, starting with the brake balance, we've got it at 44%. In the aero department, nothing. Suspension wise, we've got minus seven in the front, plus eight in the rear, minus eight in the compression front, and plus 20 compression rear, uh, minus six rebound front, and plus nine rebound rear. And then ARBs in the front, I've got it at plus five. This is the one that I've changed. Meteor Sky actually has this at minus three. Now to me, that felt just a tiny bit too twitchy. So I wanted to give a little bit more stiffness to the front. And I know that sounds backwards, but with anti-roll bars, remember they actually act differently than the rest of the suspension. So if you want more oversteer in the car, you increase the rear ARB. If you want more understeer in the car, you increase the front. So for me, I just wanted it a little bit more stable. He likes it a lot twitchier than that. So it is what it is. Try negative three. If you like that, stick with it. If not, plus five is where I ended up. All right, the alignment is minus 0.25 on both. All right, here's my fastest run on staying ahead.
all right here we go we got the saline up first and i decided on the jesco for some reason just want to mix it up haven't driven that in a while and then uh the good old friend the f40 for street 2 11th place all right let's get it all right a little bit of a slow start here See if we can keep it on the road. Oh my gosh. I'm just trying to keep it on the road. I'm all over the place. I just can't stop making contact. That guy's taking everybody out. Oh my gosh, Nitro's in here. Somebody I know bit from way back in the heat days. Very good racer. I had to cut inside that guy, dude. He was gonna murder me. All right, we're just hanging on for dear life here. The saline has very good. Okay, dude. Very good lateral G stat. So we don't have to worry too much about understeer. Very quick section. A lot of pain there in the beginning is what it is now we just see if we can track down see if we can track down mr nitro there we go can we get into nitro slip and not use all oh we did let's go All right, Jesco, don't do me dirty. Oh, ah, he's in a cop, a R. Just ran through the gutter though. Alright, Jesco, stay it. Stay together, stay together. Let's see if we can with hang with Nitro. Let's go, dude. Oh no! I made one try. I tried to make one little adjustment to my line because I was gonna go into the dirt on the right side. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh man, dude. I just wanted to make a tiny, tiny adjustment and it was just like, I just couldn't do it fast enough. That is annoying. All right, let's see if we can track him down street two. Here we go. All right, we're cutting through. I might have a chance if he gutters in whatever car he's in now the same way he he guttered with that agara and i've got the f40 and i can actually perform i have a chance but if it doesn't go that way then uh see i can't see what he's in yet and I missed that one. That was one of the more important ones. That's a tough gutter to hit because the road falls off. All right, we're sticking with this. I've got a few more gutter turns to try to make it. Nitro's moving. I didn't see what car he was in. 
we're using a lot of NOS, dude. We're just gonna have to try to recover it. And I missed that gutter as well. Oh, I missed that one as well, dude. All right, it's gonna be a GG's, dude. I'm not, I'm not hitting any of this stuff. I really wanted to see if I could stick with him. He's putting it to me over here. The only thing I hope is that he has a bad downhill section. Yeah, he's, he's too far out in front. That's all I've got, dude. It's pretty much straight from here. There's only one tough corner left. GG's to Nitro, man. That one adjustment, bro, that is insane. You know what's really funny about that? Is, uh... That is the type of corner where you need no dead zone, no steering filter on your, on your controller. You need it on that corner. Now, that situation doesn't always happen. You know, if I would have turned in at the right time, we wouldn't be talking right now. This would be a, a much closer... Uh, he was in the F40. This would be a much closer uh, race, I think. But because there is that steering filter on controller, um, this is a problem. Now, I'm not saying Nitro was on wheel. He just took the corner better, you know. But a, a person with a wheel could make an adjustment like that and not go wide like that like if we i feel like we should put this up on a replay actually let's put it up on a replay you can see as i'm turning into the corner the jesco wants to hook and i i recognize it right away because i adjusted my steering the car then because i had to let off the turn a little bit the car then went a little bit wide and it was too wide and too late at that point for me to save it it's pretty amazing i wish i had my controller layout on stream um, or on, on screen for this video. Anyways, we're talking a lot about that and not about the fact that the Saline S7R is very viable in the Grand Races. I mean, you could see it. I was getting banged around a lot, but for some reason I kind of survived and I was, you know, near the front at the end of that, uh, section. You know, it didn't take me too long to, uh, to get slipstream on, on the leader. So anyways. Uh, excellent tune. Thank you so much, Meteor Sky, for sending that in. Appreciate it. I love testing it, and it's a good tune, and you guys should definitely check it out, and his name will be on it and in the tune app. That's the other thing. If you do get featured in a video like this for your tune, of course, your name will go next to that tune in the tunes app. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, head over to militiagamingco.com, click Motorfest Pro Settings, and you'll see the app that we've got going on. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.